Hi everyone, 19 days to go. I just, I can't even believe it when I say it that tomorrow is February 1st. I just, wow. <laughs> the month that I thought the calendar would just never show is almost here and um, lots more has gone on and we are pressing through. We're gonna get there. Um, since we talked to you last, Jeff left for Whistler on Friday the 29th and um, on that night, we were on uh, Alberta primetime, Jeff via telephone from Whistler and me in person in the Calgary CTV studios. And I've posted that to our website so that you can have a look at that as well. Um, it was a great interview. Interesting to uh, have Jeff over the phone. That was a new one for us, our second interview together. Um, taking Jeff to the airport that morning was really, really emotional. It was a very, um, very profound moment the last time that the boys and I would take Jeff to the airport for four weeks away. And not just the last time of four weeks away, but that this was the last time, um, there's nothing more we can do about it. This is it. When he comes home again on March 1st, it's all over. It's done. There's nothing more to add, nothing more to do. And um, I didn't want to let him go. I just wanted to hang on to him and it was, it's really, really hard to trust that we've done all that we can to surrender to the results, to trust, um, and to believe that we are involved in some purpose. This is for a purpose. So that was a really big day. So he's arrived safely in Whistler and has already started training on the track there. Um, he's... Uh, Struggling through getting to know the track. Apparently, corner four is a little different than it was before, so there's that. Um, but otherwise, things are going well for him. They're in condos right now, and we'll move into the Athletes' Village, I believe, around February 9th, I think. One of the other big things that happened for us since our last vlog is this. I have here the draft copy of our book. Um... And I can't tell you what it means to have this in my hand, um, to see that this, this is our story. And um, from my perspective at least, it feels like having this in my hand, all of those years, all of the really trying times, and everything we've been through, it meant something. It was for something, for this. And at the same time, I look into these pages and I see my story and Jeff and I's story and I think this is one of the best ways that we can turn the page and start again. So I'm really, really excited. Now this is the draft copy only, okay? This is just going out to uh, a few uh, other media folks or strategic people. So keep your eyes peeled for the website at www.marriageandmetals.com and you'll be able to order your copy. Um, hopefully in about three weeks you'll be able to order your copy. So stay with us. We thank you so much for being with us on our journey and I will continue to keep you posted. Check the Facebook site for regular updates and I will continue to do these blogs also about every three or four days as we count down. The boys and I are leaving for Whistler on February 15th so we'll get a couple more in from here at home, the headquarters in, Hel in Calgary until that time. Okay everybody, have a great weekend and we will talk to you soon. Bye.